Welcome. This is the Algebra 1 um, and, of course, practice test 2. Question number 58. The question says, what is the simplified form of the expression 10x squared minus x minus 65 over the cube root of 2x plus 5 to the third power? if x is not equal to negative 5 over 2. Basically with that if not equals to thing, they're giving you the exception. So you don't even have to find the exception on this one. That's because the problem kind of looks beastly. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. One is more mathematically appropriate. The other has no math really involved. It's just a cheap trick that works. So or a cheap calculator trick that works. So what I'm going to do is look at the idea of the cube root of something that's already cubed because this whole thing is cubed out. Now the reality is if I s take the square root of a square it's like they're canceling each other out in a way because the square root is equal to x to the one half and if I have x squared then one half times two because you have to multiply them it will take you back to x to the first power and it gets rid of that square root. Same thing with the cube you're dealing with like x to the third well, 3 times 1 third is x to the first power. So basically, whatever is inside that parentheses just pops itself out. The cube and the, uh, the cube root and the cubed part cancel each other. So what you're left with is 10x squared minus x minus 65 over 2x plus 5. So now what I need to do is factor my top set. And I'm going to use slide and divide here, uh, although there is a... Um, <coughs> There, it would be a common factor if this one had a 5, but it doesn't. So there isn't any, so I'm going to use slide and divide. And I don't know why my pen keeps ghosting like that. It's very weird. Um, so what I'm going to do is slide this 10x over here, and then end up with negative 65 times 10, which is negative 650. So I'm going to factor out x squared minus x minus 650. So I need to do a factor list for 650. So, of course, you've got 1 and 650. Divided by 2 would give you 2 and 325. We're going to skip a whole bunch here and try to move into a point where we actually, like if we did 10 and 65 would be 1. Uh, divided by 5 would give you 5 and 130. That's not getting me anywhere near the negative 1 that I need. So I'm going to start guessing a little higher. And if I do 25, 650 divided by 25, I end up with 26. So there's the set that I need to use. Uh, this minus shows me that my signs are going to be different. So I'm going to have an x plus something and an x minus something. And I want the 1 to be negative, so the 26 goes here. And the 10, or the 25, I'm sorry, goes right in front of that plus, because negative 26 plus 25 gives me the negative 1 I'm looking for. That's the slide part. Now I need to do the divide part. So I'll just divide both by 10. I'll reduce those. So this should give me 5 over 2. And I think the other one will give me 13 over 5. Yep. So x minus 13 over 5. And if you didn't know, you can't leave fractions there, so you just bump the 2 back up here. So the top new top part becomes 2x plus 5 over, or at times, 5x minus 13 over 2x plus 5. That's the uh, factoring part. These cancel now, and all I'm left with is 5x minus 13. So I can say that the answer to number 58 is C, which, incidentally enough, it is C. So whatever. That's one way you can do it. Factor it out. I use uh, slide and divide usually as my factor tactic as opposed to trying to do um, combinations of the factors of 10 and 65 and see if I can work it out. I just tend to like that better. You're welcome to do it. So you just factor 65 and 10, look for a combination that gives you negative 1. Should make it, you know, you can do it that way too. Uh, let's talk about the completely non-mathematical way to do this. Now, you can see that there's an x in here and you can type an x in your calculator simply by using the variable button. See, if I hit this, it gives me x. So what I'm going to do is try to make, type in the question, this part of it anyway, just like it is, uh, but I'm, I have a big divide here, so I need to put the top part in parentheses and the bottom part in parentheses as well. So I'm going to do 10x squared minus x minus 65, and I'm going to close that out. Then I'm going to divide in parentheses again. I need to go into the catalog to find cube root, so hit second, go to catalog, and it takes a few seconds to get up to it. You think you're there, and then you're not. 
There it is, right there. So cube root of 2x, and it's got its own parentheses. There's like a billion parentheses in this question. Plus 5. Close that out. Cube it. Close that out to show that you're getting rid of the cube root. And then close it one more time because we had we have to close every one we open. Hit enter and you'll get 37. That number is the number that I'm looking for when I type in my answer choices on the other side. So I'm looking to get 37. So I try 2x minus 5. So I'll type in 2x minus 5 and that one doesn't work so I'll type in 2x plus 5. Also no. But when I try 5x minus 13 gives me 37. So I know that my answer choice and my question are the same. So once again, I can say that C is the correct answer to number 58. So use mathematical integrity or not. I'm just trying to show you that they both exist. And uh, good luck.